smell. Listen, we do Woo. not need to ask the genie for this wish because it happened. Yep. We made history. The Raptors pulled it off on so Saturday. So awesome to watch. Oh, it was so amazing. So the question is, how much will tickets be going for in this final series? And it's way too much cash. It's Drake All, money. Almost the same as a Toronto house, I think. <laughs> it's crazy some of the numbers that are bouncing around, of course. I mean, and it's only as if the hype builds and we start talking about a game seven, those tickets are just going to go up even more. But uh, some of the ones right now, we're talking about uh, game two on Sunday. There are tickets that are going for uh, two courtside north seats. Uh, $44,000, sorry, $44,999 and 10 cents. What? what? So 60,000 Canadian. Who's going to pay that? Yep. Who has that kind of cash? That's crazy. And that's one of the cheaper ones. Cheapest ticket for, or cheapest ticket for game two is 1,300 Canadian. Um, now, this is the secondary market. Wow. This is scalpers, right? And, they are, and people are selling them on the secondary markets. Right. But if there's a game seven, and it's here. Oh my gosh. The Raptors have a chance to win. Golden State would have a chance to be considered probably, you know, elevate their status as a dynasty. What do you think a ticket is going for right now? Well, if you're telling me those kind of prices, it's going to be upwards to six figures, right? Yep. A hundred and fifty one thousand oh, dollars someone has one on the market for and if they lose you just spent that kind like three hundred thousand for what and <laughs> well, I, if they win still too much money i'm not sure how it works if you buy it through the secondary markets do you get your money back if the game do isn't played get your money back anybody anybody played? know you anybody must get your money back yeah, yes. yeah. you if get the it game back isn't yeah. played you all get right. your money, but yeah, of course. But there's right? a 10 percent fee for handling all the transactions. Oh my gosh! So you lose Listen. fifteen thousand. Or you could just hang out at Jurassic Park and be part of the fun because that is the best part. It's, it, yeah. it reminds me of like FIFA fever, and it's now happening across the nation. Look at everybody come alive. They were singing Drake songs. They were singing Oh Canada. It was just truly a celebration. And I went down. I was watching the game, and a buddy's just around the corner here. So I thought I, I have to go down here in Young Dundas Square. And. It was great. It wasn't, a, you want to say it was a zoo, but it wasn't. It was just people having fun yes. and celebrating and having a great time. You know, a couple of guys lit, lit off fireworks, but being good Canadians, yeah. everybody cleared back to a proper safety distance okay. so the fireworks could go off at uh, Young and Gould. But uh, everybody's had a good time, high-fiving, chants, cheers. That's the beauty of sports. Yeah. It brings all of us together. Yeah. And not since the Jays World Series have we come together in this way. It's long overdue. And the Raptors, yeah. thank you for doing that for us under extreme pressure. Did it not seem a little surreal when yes. the game was over and you're like, they won. They're going to the championship. And it took forever. Those last two minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah, with we're, the we're... stop and the starts and the timeouts. I'm like, you're killing us over here. I don't know how they keep their cool. You know who so we're killing go... right now? Who? Rob downstairs. Oh, sorry, Rob. We're running out of time. Okay, wrap it up. Yeah, let's head upstairs now. <laughs> <laughs> Mel. Okay, Mel. Talking about it.